Hi folks, I want to show you a trick that I use for taking any size paper and kind of making it a standard size picture plane. And so uh, here I have eight and a half by 11 piece of paper on a larger sketchbook paper. Um, if you have it, I would say work on the larger paper, but if you don't, the smaller paper, the eight and a half by a land by eleven, our standard copy paper is just fine. Okay, so how I standardize my drawings is that I take a little um, push pen, and I then uh, just make a little prick mark on the corner of each of my pieces of paper. This gives me kind of a guideline to use a ruler to. I like this to do this so that I have a border around my, my uh, work. So should I have to put it into a larger frame, I don't have to cut the work. So I've put, I don't know if you can see it from the video, but I've put that, those little tick marks right there. And now I am going to line it up with my ruler. If you don't happen to have a ruler on hand, sometimes I use an edge of a book or maybe an old record or like a record album for a straight edge or uh you know, even a board. You can use so many different things. Just has to have a straight edge. Okay, so there's my little tick mark right here. There's my little tick mark right there. Boom. You can always check your measure by using a square, you know, our paper that we get is the corners are true 90 degrees. So you can always use that. Sometimes I line that up from the edge of my paper and I use that kind of as a straight edge or a T square. I'm not sure if you I think I've introduced T squares to you, but if not, um they kind of help you keep your work parallel and perpendicular. It's a cool tool. Okay, here I am. And notice how I am just dragging my pencil. I'm really not putting pressure on my pencil so that when I erase, it erases clean. This is something you don't want to mar your paper with. Okay. So we have that. Okay. And you can check that I did a pretty good job, I think, against my other paper. Indeed. Okay. All right. So this is an option if you happen to have a larger piece of paper. You don't have to cut it down. You can certainly work larger if you want, but I'm asking that our work size is an eight and a half by 11 drawing picture plane.